Hello everybody, welcome back to Patfoot TD Games. My name is Zach, I'm the voice behind the icon, and today we are back once again in Virtual Sailor Next Generation. Still sick. Been like four days since I started this. Still sick. Dang it. But, we are back with the beautiful Disney Wish. And we are getting ready to actually uh, start going down the Port Canaveral uh, channel, as it were. We got our buoy system here, and down we will go, and we'll be parking right there at Disney's terminal. It's a beautiful morning. Uh, a little chilly, as it were, and we're the first ones in, uh, which is which makes sense because we got to get ourselves up around and and in. But um, should be a beautiful trip in. We're currently at 12 knots. Man, the zoom in is so wonky, and I don't know why. I'll have to look into that. Uh, we did fix a couple things, by the way. I wanted to be able to show you really quick. First off, we got rid of thruster noise. Okay. I accidentally paused the sim. I was like, hmm, we're not, we don't feel like we're moving. I, I, I accidentally hit alt, I guess, when I tried to hit map or something, because uh, I noticed that the, the, the crowd wasn't moving at all. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoops. Uh, but we did get rid of beeping. And the chime that goes with uh, if I was to hit one. But, of course, it's 6.30 in the morning, and we are not going to play a horn at 6.30 in the morning. What is wrong with you? But it should be a beautiful sailing. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit different, um, just because I'm, I'm still not feeling the best. Um, I am probably going to just let it sail. We'll see you guys as we start to head down the channel. It's, it's long enough for us to do the turn and to dock. So you'll, don't worry, you will see plenty, but I'm gonna wait till we're at least a little in the channel. So we'll see you guys in a bit, and welcome back to Florida with a beautiful Disney wish for turnaround day. All right, we have started our way down the channel, which also reminds me, we actually need to get ourselves slowed down to about eight knots as we pull up here. I think we're the only ones in this morning thus far, but still wanna keep with that uh, no wake ordinance. And it's amazing because the, the Disney Wish is so much bigger than the Disney Wonder and Magic. And they're getting bigger and bigger ships to actually be here. Um, I know the channel is wide enough, but it is 100% a one-way, like a lot of channels are in the world. Uh, still just beautiful to be able to see. Uh, nothing like, personally, to end my vacation of actually watching us come in. Regardless of how early it may be in the morning, uh, it always... I don't know. It kind of concretes the end of it. We, we got to watch ourselves leave and we were happy. And as we come back, of course, we're sad to get off the ship, but we're also happy in a way to be able to head home and be back with pets, family, things like that. Um, but we got a slow crawl up as we pass the uh, Carnival Dock, the Royal Caribbean Dock. Uh, we'll check back in in a little bit as we get ourselves uh, ready to turn in the main basin to the Disney Terminal. So we'll see you guys in a bit. All right, it is time. So, this one's a little bit tricky because, again, this isn't 100% to scale, unfortunately, but really our turning uh, basin's right in here to be able to pull ourselves into the Disney Cruise Line terminal right there with the beautiful buses. There is a part of me that's on the nostalgia trip that it's like, oh, I wish maybe, like, I don't know. I wish that it had the old buses, because uh, those are what really sit in my brain. But uh, I can't complain with the world having to move forward, really, with their design. Easy camera, easy. Yikes. Let's pop back in. Really, once we're going to start clearing that, we can... <coughs> Start turning ourselves to the starboard side. And really, it's in here, and then it's kind of like this wishy wash to get ourselves right there into the terminal. So it should be a pretty routine. Luckily, it's not storming and, and windy. Again, it does act like a giant sail, unfortunately. Once it catches the wind. Let's see, still good on the turn. Let's pop to the center. Of course, I have no 
reel is going off the current because I have one RPM going with the engine. We'll bump that back up. Again, I wanted to still stick around eight knots while we're here, and then it's going to get less and less, obviously, because we're getting closer to our destination and docking. Still checking out this side. Uh, yeah, looking great. Man, the seagulls are having a field day today. It's also funny because I remember back when it was one, two, and three for the docks down here at uh, Port Canaveral. Definitely weren't any down the stretch over there. And then I remember when this one was built as well. Um, it's pretty crazy because when, when, even with a Disney ship, I, I've seen it packed in here before. And I think right now Port Canaveral does hold the number, the highest number for amount of guests departing from one port at a time on average. Uh, I think that's, that's true. <laughs> Whether it's still true or not, because I'm pretty sure that was, like, right before COVID. Because, again, let's face it. Does anybody else feel like COVID was, like, a day ago? Yeah. Like, the height of the pandemic, I should say. Alright. Feeling pretty good there. Really, it's the sweet spots right there. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll correct ourselves just a smidge. Again, this is where navigation charts would actually be helpful. Because, again, you know, you got Maritime, you got 3D, which is kind of cool. I don't think I've ever seen the 3D map before. Maritime, photorealistic objects. Oh, that's actually interesting. It shows you all the different objects. Huh. Scenery. No, don't change the scenery. Don't do that. <laughs> we'll go back to Maritime here. And we'll kill the engines. We'll watch ourselves drift forward. I feel like I may be a little too close to that one. Let's pop out really quick. Let's see. So if we do middle of the ship. Yeah, it's going to have to be right around here. Start to put a little bit of thrust into the reverse. <coughs> and really, we're just going to have to really watch the piers that are sticking out. Because I don't actually think this pier actually has an extension. I was going to check, but the sun's already set for the day, so I can't do that. Twenty should do it. Engines itself are going to be at idle. <coughs> <coughs> kind of wish that I had actually done it out here, but then it's just so far for us to get in. I mean, if we check here, every everything's going to clear perfectly fine. It's just the paranoia of it all. Because if I pop out here, we have, we have plenty of room. So what I'm going to do is also I'm going to slow down the rear. Like that. Pop back into the bridge. And I'm even actually going to slow this down a little bit more. Again, the, the thruster is, is outrageous. I can actually kill the, f the bow. Focus on the stern. 
And we'll keep that speed going back just a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Kind of parallel ourselves in there a little bit. Get that back to zero. You can see, look, that... We had plenty. Plenty of room. Paranoia. Paranoia, as it were. Again, beautiful Florida morning. First one's in. We actually might be the only one in, because I think everybody else is going out on a seven-day. I think we were the only ones coming in uh, to finish up a four. And then, obviously, we're going to be heading off on a three. We had a beautiful day at sea the other day. Again, I'm not going to film those. I don't think... I don't know. I don't know. I don't think they're actually worth it. Let's see. I just don't think they'd be good content at it. If you guys want the days at sea, just kind of round the video, I can probably find something to talk about. Ship facts or something. All depends what you guys want. And I put a little bit of juice in the caboose, as it were, just to get ourselves pulled away from here. And we're going to start backing ourselves up that way. Still keeping around two knots, nothing crazy. <coughs> Again, there's a little bit more that we still need to learn about Port Canaveral, and that's actually why captains who are going to be doing this actually take weeks and months and, and you know, of training at some of these ports, especially home ports, just to become at least a little bit more familiar with it uh, itself, just to make it a little bit easier when time comes to do it for real. Okay, we can let everything settle there. That's looking good. This one as well, as long as the bridge wing matches up right here at the end of the pier. Usually we can slip right in, and it's grand. Our all ashore time is 7.30. We will hit that mark with plenty of time. Little underestimated when I was coming up. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, some of the cruising times, but... Again, it, it, it turned... We're here in plenty of time. And I've seen many a ships, especially recently, actually being very late to ports of call. Um, which has been sad. Like, not, not on my end. Why do you going opposite? I wanted to look at this. I'm trying to figure out what this is. Assume just a texture issue, but... It's strange. Okay, we'll keep it the 1.3 knots. It's a long... So this is also the thing that I want to say. This is a long way for the bow thrusters to push the ship. Okay? That's a lot of force that you're using to literally push a wall through the water. And regardless of its buoyancy, you're, you're still getting the resistance. That's why fronts of ships come to a point. Um, the other thing that could have been done is we could have turned even more back in and then just pushed the bow in. That would have been fine. I'm taking this technique... You know, it's, let's see, Disney leaving Port Canaveral time lapse. Let's watch, leaving, I guess, uh, let's see, can I do arriving? I'm going to do this to get the bow caught up. I'm actually going to slowly start bringing us to a halt rearways. Let's see, a little kick. Get back lined up. Disney Wish Arrival time lapse. Interesting. Of course we get an ad first. Why wouldn't you get an ad first? I'm just going to put that up on the edge just to kind of see where they turn and how they do it. That's 
It's this me. This is my thought. Let's see. Comes down. Comes down. This is somebody on Jetty Park. That wasn't a good time lapse. They showed the time lapse of them taking five feet. Just because of the physics, we're going to pap that. We're going to kill that. It's approaching it just a little too hot. And actually, the wind's got us a little bit right now. Before we get a f ah, 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 don't, don't. It's another one of those collision issues. Yeah, I know I'm near the dock. I know I'm near the dock. I got that. Hate it. A little burst in both sides. Slowly bring ourselves back into a good position. Welcome home, obviously, the Disney Wish. That's pretty cool. I also would hope that maybe Alex would do the uh, Disney Treasure before the Maiden Voyage because that'd be really cool to actually do the Maiden Voyage over. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. See, just a little bit more. <coughs> we are drifting, which is fine. Because really what we have to be careful of and what I want to be able to show you, there is not a lot of clearance back here to make any sort of mistake. You really got to kind of hit it. And you'd rather be under <laughs> than over. Because you're going to find out really, really quick on <laughs> how bad that could be. A little bit more. All right, that is good. We'll let this drift just a couple more feet. forward momentum just to bring us to a halt and we're at zero I'm gonna do 12 and 12 12 bring up the docking menu kill it really it was just to get us over. And it's going to be right about... There. There. Can't push it. Let's drop lines. Oh, you'll notice that I also took those sounds out. I took a lot of sounds out that were just uh, loud and took you out of the world. So let's pop out here. Let's move these. I know that these will interact. Here. And here. Yeah, share one. Looks better. Wish you could add more lines. That'd actually be really awesome. But there you go, everybody. Here we are at... Port Canaveral. Whoo! Almost, I kept on wanting to say Castaway. Here we are at Port Canaveral with the beautiful Disney Wish. And it is time to say goodbye to our passengers and grab a whole bunch of new ones to head out for a three-day to do it all over again. But again, this is one of my favorite ships to drive, even though I know... Sail. Uh, even though I know... Uh, it's the same thing, and, and literally the only two ports, plus obviously the one you leave from, so three. Same three ports, but the ship is so beautiful, and it, it gives me a sense of, of size and and mass and everything. So 
really still love this, and I really look forward. I really hope that he does the treasure, because he's got the basic model down. Maybe changing the, the bow art, the naming, the branding, probably the splash zone, because I don't know if that's going to be the same. But again, we have a year and two months until that comes out, so we'll find out, and we'll keep on... Uh, excuse me. And we'll keep on doing the wish until then. Now I got the hiccups. <laughs> but it is time. Pop here. Pop up here. It's time to make an announcement. Tell everybody to get off the boat. Here we go. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Captain Zach speaking from the bridge. I'd like to welcome you back to Port Canaveral. Now, although our journey may be coming to an end, the story never really ends. You'll be in our heart, and I know that we'll be in yours. Your four-day journey here on the Disney Wish, I hope, has made memories that'll last a lifetime. We look forward to seeing you on board again, or with any of our Disney ships within our fleet. And we hope that we are able to do everything in our power to make it a magical journey. We've been cleared by local customs to start the disembarkation process this morning. For those of you who are carrying your own bags off the ship, you are cleared to disembark Deck 4 midship. Once again, I want to thank you personally for sailing with us here on the Disney Wish. And we hope that you have a magical journey home or wherever your adventure takes you next. Bye-bye, everybody. And that's also going to do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really do enjoy making these, and man, I just want to keep on driving the wish, but it just goes back to the same place. You're not going to want to see this week after week. Um, but we've got some more adventures in store, and I'm actually really excited for what's coming next. But that's going to do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed what you saw, we do try to get a video out here on the channel every single day, and we really do appreciate your continued support. But with that, I thank you guys so much for coming out to this one, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.